Tonight, the deadly waters of the Northwest claim as many as three lives today, one belonging to a boy who may be as young as four years old. Welcome to Coin 6 News at 11. I'm Ken Boddy. These developing stories had rescuers scrambling all across the metro area. There is a possible drowning in Yamhill County. A 19 year old from the Salem area died tubing in Clackamas County, and that young boy in Troutdale. He was with family at Glen Otto Park when he went under around 5 o'clock this afternoon. Chris Woodard spoke with the search crew today. He joins us now live with more. Chris? Yeah, Ken, search crews here wrapped up their efforts about an hour ago. If you take a look, there are still some crew members staging in the parking lot at the park behind me here. When 10 o'clock rolled around tonight, it was just too dark for them to accomplish anything else. They couldn't see underwater. They couldn't see along the shore. And the fact that they had to wrap that search up means a four or five year old boy who went underwater is still missing. With divers in the water, search and rescue crews fan out across the shoreline. The search for a young boy who went underwater and didn't resurface, lasting well into the night. We just try to come here a regular day, you know, just regular day, have fun with friends, family. Others at the popular park along the Sandy River witness and hope for the best as emergency crews come pouring in. Especially while we're here, like, I don't know, it just kind of makes you worried. According to police, two brothers between the ages of four and six were playing in the water when they got into deep water and began having trouble. AMR lifeguards were able to pull the older brother out, but the younger, a four or five year old boy, went underwater. A witness has say the two had been on some sort of raft or two. They both went into the water. The older brother was able to get out of the water, and it appears the current um, caught the younger and he went into the water and disappeared. Police say the boy did not have a life vest on. The dangers of these cold, swift waters, well known to many. I mean, a lot of people come here and then there's a current and it's really strong. I mean, a lot of people try to swim by it, but a lot of people don't make it. Yeah, when the hot weather comes, you know, the people come and they don't realize that the small children, you know, they need to keep a close eye on them. The water here in the river only 57 degrees when that boy went under earlier today. These crews are still camped out. Those command posts still camped out in the lot here at the park because while the search is done for tonight, they will be back out here and back at it again tomorrow morning. They plan to get things started around 7 o'clock. The park will be closed while they're searching. They want to give these searchers plenty of space. But crews also say that the bridge here over the Sandy River will be open all day. They will not shut that bridge down like they did today. Live in Troutdale, I'm Chris Woodard for Coin 6 News. We have new details on the drowning of a 19 year old in Clackamas County. Deputies have identified the victim as Andrew Motes from Salem. He and two friends were tubing on the Malala River near Dickey Prairie Road. Authorities say they hit some swift water and overturned. While the two friends resurfaced, Motes' foot got stuck under a tree root. One of the friends tried to save him, but finally had to give up. He was taken to the hospital with water in his lungs. The other friend was uninjured. According to his Facebook page, Motes played football for North Marion High School before he graduated in 2011. Meanwhile, Yamhill County deputies have suspended the search for a 20-year-old man on the Willamette. Around 5.30, three men, including Anthony Jimenez, tried to swim across the river off Dorsey Road near Dayton. One did make it across, but Jimenez and his other friend did not. Two good Samaritans jumped in and saved the other friend, but when they went back for Jimenez, he was nowhere to be seen. The search will continue tomorrow morning.